HVAC is outwardly affected by our membership. If electric sells a membership to a customer, electric gets one visit a year, plumbing gets one visit a year, and HVAC gets two. So every membership that every other department sells is like just pouring gas onto HVAC. It's been a big deal. And then we have about triple the amount of memberships we had last December too. So that obviously helps a lot. Like the team's just been able to grow. Yeah, you figured out the membership and then... We basically figured out how to sell them through every other department of the company, including HVAC, and then maximize it along the way. Yeah, we've noticed that with plumbing is when people are interested in the plumbing membership, they're most likely also interested. Yeah. Do you sell them as two separate memberships or is one, it one? One whole home membership. Because yeah. then what's interesting is like one of Chris Hoffman has appliance repair. And I was like, mm -hmm. Chris, like walk me through this. Why do you have appliance repair? And he's like, dude, I have 16,000 members. Like I just sent an email one day and like we added appliance repair. So that's the benefit of doing whole home. Like we're getting ready to launch drains into our membership probably in the next six months. That's kind of on the roadmap. And that's going to be a huge addition of value to our customers. I don't think we're changing the price and it's going to be an added value for us. Keep our guys moving. And like we're able to just push stuff through the membership. So one membership helps because you can do stuff like that where you can just like launch new things. Yeah, I mean, that's also why I was looking at the numbers yeah, on Chris's uh, membership thing because he posts them on Twitter. I was thinking, man, he charges a premium. Like it's not a small amount, $35 a month plus four membership. I think it's with one unit. He does have a secondary unit. Yeah. Ours is like $29.99. Yeah, so 30 times 16,000 people out there can do the math. That's some good money. Yeah. That's some good reoccurring revenue. But I mean, that's where the value comes from. Whereas if you just have an HVAC membership yeah. and then you add on a plumbing membership, like this bolt on method, yeah. I don't know if it's the same kind of value or it's also confusing. And whole sense. home, everything. Whole home, yeah. Because then like one day you're going to be like, I'm ready to add electric. And instead of having to struggle through like, how do I get leads? You're like, hey, everyone, electrical safety inspection is now included. You just booked out however many members you have in appointments. Do you require them to call in or do you outbound to them to, to load those new memberships or to load those new? We outbound. Um, yeah. To services on. Hey, we're doing electrical now. Mm -hmm. Would you guys be interested? You're getting your plumbing. That's what we did for plumbing and it worked really well. So I yeah. can imagine it works exactly as well for electrical as well. We have a membership coordinator now. And so this is our full-time job is to manage that. But that just happened in the last couple months. So we've tried to really smooth the onboarding because we were having higher churn because people didn't know the benefits or whatever. So now somebody, a membership sells immediately, membership coordinator calls, walks them through the benefits, how it works, how to use it, and then begins setting up the appointments in three month increments to sort of help ease that transition.